you see both parts as yourself and you're humble you're humble for being where you're at being where you're at you can be in a lower place you could be disadvantaged, you could be dismembered, you could be in a horrible situation as some people go into. And I'm not promoting fear. I'm talking about acceptance and appreciating, accepting what is, appreciating what we have. And that's a very good thing to have the desire to improve it and working to make yourself better. That's wonderful. I'm not saying that you're not trying to improve yourself by accepting of what is. But you accept what is and you're humble. You don't show off. And you can see when you do that, you can see people who are trying to say, look at me, look at me. I am this and I am that and I do this and I do that. And they're showing themselves. There's a lot of me, me, me. And you can normally see they're not very good. They're not very attractive. They may be very attractive physically, but they become very ugly very quickly because you just can't, you don't stand them. There's a lot of ego, a lot of look at me, a lot of me, me, me. And that makes them ugly. And then you may see some people who are physically, they're not very attractive, but they're, you find this sweetness and, and you find them being very humble and you find yourself very attracted to them. You want to be with them. You want to hang out with them, play with them, laugh with them. But physically, they're not attractive looking. Maybe they're not rich. Maybe they're not good looking. Maybe they have no benefits for you. But somehow, you feel like being with them. Because their inside is shining. Their beautiful inside. They're humble, they're grateful, they have gratitude. So make, a, make this a practice, your daily practice of gratefulness being grateful and bow in in you don't have to physically do it but you do it to life you do it to situations to the gifts existence give you and it could be just a very simple gift it could be something very little very little something has happened and you're grateful thank you thank you for giving me this thank you for giving me this very sunny day and beautiful warm day. Thank you for this friend of mine shows up and calls me today and wants to see me, wants to hear my voice. You know, you're just like grateful to life. Small little things, you start with that. And then you start to see you begin to see the magic in everything. And your body starts to heal. Your heart starts to heal. Because you become simple. You're humble. You don't take life for granted. Things can change at any moment for anybody. Today you're really up here and tomorrow you could be in the bottom. In, in a moment, in a second, your life can completely change. 
for worse, for better. You're driving your car, you're fooling around with your cell phone, one moment you lose your cell phone, it falls down and you bend over to pick it up and you run into a pedestrian and you kill the person. Or a bike rider pulls in front of you, a kid jumps in front of you and you run into them and you kill him. And now your life completely changes. From one moment to another, your life is a nightmare. You just killed somebody because you weren't present. You were fooling around with your phone. And now you have to deal with legal person, legal issues. You have to deal with the guilt that you killed someone and the pain you have inflicted upon the family of the child that they have to go through the pain and your life is completely changed. All of your dreams are shattered. The course of life you were going to, you were going to move to Spain and to start this thing with your new partner and you had everything figured out. Now you have to go and spend 10 years in jail. Anything can happen at any moment in your life. You can't take any of it for granted. You can't be, become ignorant. You can't go into this place of me, me, me. I am really in control of everything. Bullshit. You're not in control of anything. God is the only one who's in control of everything. Spirit, life. You have this great strong body today and all of a sudden the next day you wake up and your body is falling apart. You're diagnosed with level four cancer. They give you three months to live and your life comes your life becomes miserable. Again, I'm not promoting fear. Don't take me wrong. I'm just saying not to take things for granted. Remain in this place of being grateful. Remaining in this place of being humble for everything you have and not be so focused on things we don't have not going into this place of jealousy, being jealous. Why my sister has more? Why my dad gave her more and didn't give me enough? Why is my best friend so successful in love and I'm not? Why other people blah, blah, blah? Or getting into the gossip, gossiping about this, that, this person did this, this person did that, blah, 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 blah. He didn't look at me. He didn't pay attention to me, but he was paying attention to this other person. Blah, 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 blah. All of these things. 